All right, guys, so continuing on what we learned yesterday about reflections, here are the four patterns that we talked about. So flipping over uh, the x-axis, the y-axis, y equals x, y equals negative x. We're going to look today at reflecting images or shapes, and it's the same concept. So we're going to follow the pattern to change those ordered pairs, uh, but we're also going to add an interesting component to this and say, well, what if the shape is on the line and we're reflecting over it? Um, it's all the same. So very simple stuff. And then at the end of this video, we're actually going to add one more concept. And it, it's something along the lines of, well, what if we flip over this line of reflection? So if uh, the line is y equals 2, how do we flip over that? How do we flip over a line that's up here? We're going to discuss that today. So for our first example, it says to reflect the image over the x-axis. So we're going to reflect this image down here over the x-axis. And so if we follow the pattern we discussed yesterday, if x, y is reflected across the x-axis, then all we have to do is change the y value sign. So right here, we're going to plot these points by changing uh, the sign of the y value. So starting here, we'll have 3, negative 1. This one will turn into 6, negative 1. This will turn into 6, negative 4, and this will be 3, negative 5. See, pretty easy. And this actually looks uh, a lot clearer in terms of visualizing a reflection because if you view this as a mirror down here, you can see that this image is mirrored. It's flipped over perfectly. Okay, expanding on this problem, we're going to reflect that image over the y-axis. So first we flipped over the x, now we're going to flip over the y-axis. Let's do that now. Remember our pattern from yesterday says when you reflect over the y-axis, you change the value, or you change the sign of your x value. So doing that now, this would change to a negative 3, negative 1. This would change to a negative 6, negative 1. This would be a negative 3, negative 5. And lastly, a negative 6, negative 4. So this isn't perfectly drawn, but you guys get the point. Follow the pattern and you can transfer, you can transform, you can reflect the entire shape. Okay, for our next example, we're going to again reflect the image over the x-axis, but it looks a little bit different, right? Because our shape is actually on the x-axis. Well, do we do do we did, well do we do anything different? No, we still follow the same pattern. So again, if we're reflecting uh, an ordered pair over the x-axis, all we do is change the sign of our y. So following the same steps like we just did, I'm going to use the uh, black marker to show our new shape. If I change the y value here, it becomes 4, negative 2, right here. This becomes 4, positive 3. This will become 6, positive 4. And this will be 7, negative 2. And so our shape, essentially, just flips upside down. That's what happens when you reflect over the x-axis. Uh, again, I don't think this is confusing, but it just goes to prove uh, even when it looks complicated, all you're doing is following the pattern that we discussed yesterday. All right, here's some examples of reflections that are, are difficult to do in your head, but if you have a picture, it's very easy to visualize and come up with an answer. So this says reflect the points over the line x equals 5. So this is the line x equals 5 because it crosses through uh, the x-axis at 5, and it's just straight up and down. We need to reflect over that. When we reflected over the x-axis, we had a pattern. Sorry, when we reflected over the x-axis, we had a pattern. Same with the y-axis, y equals x, y equals uh, negative x, all of that. Here, there's not really a pattern, but there's something interesting you can do, uh, and it's called counting. It's very easy. So here, we see we're only one spot away from our line of reflection. And so what we're going to do is because we're one spot away this direction, we're going to go one spot this direction. It's a very simple reflection. So our y value will stay the same, 
All we have to do is plot this point, and we see that it is 6, negative 2. All right. For this green one, we still have to count that many spaces, so it's 3 this direction, and then 5 more, so it's 8 spaces. If I go 8 more spaces this way, we'll be at a point about right here, and that would be 13, negative 3. Here we're actually at the origin, this is zero, zero, so we're only five spots away. If we go five more, uh, here's nine, here's 10, we'll say, we'd be right here. And lastly, the one at two, six, we are one, two, three spots away. We go three more, it would be at eight. So this would be eight, six. So pretty simple, all you do is count the number of spaces you're away and then move the same amount in the other direction. Um, and the same would apply if we were reflecting over something like y equals three. You would count the number of spaces away and then just move up or down that, that same amount. All right guys, I've zoomed in just so you can see this a little bit clearer. This problem says reflect the image over the line y equals three. So this is my line of reflection, y equals three and I have six points that I need to reflect to get this image across the line. So it might take a couple minutes, um, but just follow the pattern, keep going through the steps and identifying how far you need to move. And it shouldn't take too long. So this fir first point here, we're only one spot away. So two, four, I would move down one spot to be at the line and then another spot. This point right here is, well, as you can see, the Y value that it's at is eight and that's five spots away from our y value of three. So we'll move down five spots. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing here. We are uh, five spots away. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape already. This one at four, six is three spots away from the line. One, two, three. So move down three spots. One, two, three will be at, at the axis. Okay, and then you can kind of just finish it on your own pretty easily. This again is three spots away. We know that's here. And this one, just by filling in the blanks, is one spot away. It goes right here. Now this isn't a perfect uh, scale drawing, but I think you get the point. It's the same shape. It's flipped over a line. It's just not as easy as this one where you can just change the coordinates and the signs. Uh, you actually have to count and that takes a little bit more time. But that's how it's done. The same thing would apply if we were reflecting over, say, x equals negative three. You just follow the same steps, count how far away you are from that line of reflection and then flip over. All right guys, so that's all for today's video. Um, it's a little bit more intense than yesterday because you actually have to count and counting is crazy, right? So again, uh, just take your time with this stuff with some practice It'll become faster and quicker. You may be able to just cheat through it and draw the picture just by sight um, But get this visually and conceptually remember to keep memorizing these four patterns here That'll help you a lot on the quizzes and tests as we move forward um, You guys are killing it with this unit. I think unit 5 is a good one for you all so keep up the great work you will have an assignment to go along with this. I'm not sure if it's on Delta Math or just an assignment yet that you can turn in through Google Classroom. But no matter what, keep up the great work. You guys rock.